So we got our black cast iron skillet. We're heating it up. We'll put a cup of oil, a cup of flour in it, and we'll start our roux. We got some water with some chicken stock, and we got some uh, ham hocks. We want this gumbo to have a smoky flavor. So we're gonna get this water going, and get it boiling, and then we'll add our chicken. All right, we got our chicken boiling. We got our roux golden color. It's gonna get chocolate, and that's when we're gonna use it. We got some celery. We got some onions cut up here, and we'll be back. We got our root here, starting to dark, darken up a little bit. And keep on stirring it. We got our Trinity. We're gonna go in this root. We're gonna add some garlic, but we don't want to put that garlic too early because it'll burn. Have a bitter taste. Just keep stirring that root. We got those chicken uh, thighs in there, and we got them ham hocks in there, and we'll. Put a little smoked paprika in this gumbo and some hot sauce and some other seasonings and we'll show you what it looks like soon. Little roux update. So this roux would be good for a shrimp stew or any kind of stew you would like to make. Uh, crawfish stew. But uh, we're going for a gumbo and some people like a light gumbo but we like a dark gumbo so we're going Try to get it like a Hershey's chocolate bar. Really dark. But you can see it's starting to change colors. And we about 25 to 30 minutes in on this. And that chicken's still looking good. We got some sausages being cut, smoked sausage. And we'll be back. Alright. We're going to take this sausage here, the smoked sausage, and put it in here. Uh-oh. Blast it in my roux. We'll let that cook down. And our roux is looking dark. We're fixing to throw all this trinity in here. We're just going to go a little bit darker. We're looking for that dark, dark, dark chocolate. All right. We add the color we want. We're gonna put our Trinity in here. It's gonna sizzle. Uh oh, too hot. We'll let that cool down just a minute there. I wanna burn nobody. Here we go. Ooh, she's sizzling. this trinity gets in here it'll start cooling it down it'll start sweating the vegetables down put that moisture in there and it won't burn cook these vegetables down in here like that look at that and it's going to make it more dark you can see the magic happening right now huh mm -hmm. at that point you can kill your fire and the heat's going to cook it down so just let that chill out for a minute We'll start adding some seasonings over here. We got some Cajun seasoning. Smoked paprika. We're gonna add the gumbo filet. And we'll put some crab oil in it. We'll let that cook down and we'll come right back with you. All right, look how nice this roux is. That's beautiful, huh? All right. Put some of this in here. We got green onions on that top of that. Look at this. Chicken and the sausage and, oh my God. Video taper, how does it smell? Mm -hmm. Good gumbo, huh? Mm -hmm. Let's take some of this. Put it up in here, slowly work it in. Cook this gumbo for about two hours. Put you some rice on. And then when we come back, we'll be tasting this in about two hours and telling you how good it is. But uh, all right, this gumbo is looking so nice. It's 
done cooked an hour, we'll let it cook another 45 minutes, but look at this. Put that chicken, load it with sausage, pull the ham hock out. We put a cayenne sauce in there, put about that, that was a brand new bottle, we put about that much, you can put much as you want, look at that ham hock cooking down, it's nice and smoky, we did ladle off the oil, you don't want to keep that oil in there. Yeah, man, we've been plating this up in another 45 minutes there. And that's going to be delicious. Woo -hoo -hoo. Louisiana gumbo. That gumbo is done. It looks delicious. Woo -hoo. We're going to plate that over some white rice. Our rice looks really good. Let's get it plated up. Got that gumbo plated up. Oh, it looks good. It's piping hot. But I'm not going to test it. I'm going to let somebody else test it. We'll be back. Go. All right, we're going to try this gumbo. Damn, that is good. Get off the couch and make your family some Cajun gumbo.